In the previous video I showed the quirks and features of this amazing quad socket 64 core Opteron system and we found that within Windows the performance was in some cases really quite good but in other cases really poor. So naturally the question arose is could Linux improve performance? Well today we're going to find out. In case you missed the previous video on this system, here's a quick recap. We have four 16-core AMD Opteron 6282SEs on a Supermicro H8 QG6-F with 128GB of DDR3-1600 with these awesome Noctua coolers. And for the case we have a Supermicro Super Chassis with redundant 1400 watt power supplies. It's all pretty crazy, so it perhaps doesn't come as a surprise that Windows struggles with managing all of it. So we turn to the magic land of Linux, and there were two distros I really wanted to have a look at. First of all the recently released Ubuntu 2204 Jammy Jellyfish, and then Clear Linux. The latter specifically because the AMD Threadripper chips also had some issues within Windows, and the great people from Pharonix found that of all the Linux distros, it was actually Clear Linux that was the most performant, and that's a bit ironic, considering Clear Linux is developed by Intel. Let's start with the worst performance on Windows, Geekbench 5, where we saw a scaling from single to multi-thread of just around 10x, with a score of 4939. So here we're running on Clear Linux, so see if performance improves. And there it goes. Well it has completed the test, so let's see what the results are. Let's see if we can do this gracefully. There we go. And geez, 14,000 points. That's nearly three times as much as we got on Windows. This is really quite astounding actually. And with this incredible jump in performance, it's now 24% faster than the Alder Lake i5 12600K. And actually only 10% behind the 32 thread Zen 3 Ryzen 9 5950X. Also compared to Ubuntu, Clear Linux was clearly quicker. However, the results aren't all that rosy. For example, in Ycruncher, both Clear Linux and Ubuntu were slower than Windows. In the mostly single-threaded web tests, Octane and Speedometer, the Windows performance was also strong, but Clear Linux did have the edge in both cases. Things were much, much better in the Blender Open benchmark, where under Clear Linux we saw a 56% performance uplift, and it was now able to outpace the Alder Lake i5 12600K by 30% in the second rendering tests. Next up for something I was very interested in, and that was DaVinci Resolve video rendering. But Resolve turned out just to be a right pain. First of all, I couldn't get it to work under Clear Linux, and while I was able to get it to work under Ubuntu, I found out that because of some licensing issue, you can't just render regular video formats like MP4, you can only edit some obscure ProRes format. Like, why? In any case, with the video files all converted to ProRes, we are running it here in Ubuntu. Remember, in Windows we saw that a few cores were doing all the work, while most of them were just sitting idle, so see if that changes here. So let's start rendering. There we go. Open up System Monitor. And this is quite fascinating. Remember in Windows we saw that some of the cores were doing all the work, while the rest was sitting idle. Here we see that Ubuntu has a much more inclusive approach. We see that really all the cores are doing something, but neither are they loaded up that much, all between 20 and around 50 to 60 percent. So yeah, that is really interesting to see. Kind of fascinated why it does that and why it chooses to do so. And with this vastly different approach, it was able to render faster than Windows by a nice 23 percent, cutting rendering times from around 6 to only 4.5 minutes, and increasing power draw from 680 watts in Windows to around 720 watts in Linux. And finally I also couldn't resist to quickly check out some gaming on Linux. And while my personal Steam library list with official Linux support isn't great, I was able to give a one-to-one -one comparison with Tomb Raider and with Dirt Rally. But as you've probably been able to see already, the performance on Linux isn't really that good. 
In Dirt Rally we went from averaging around 50 FPS in Windows, down to only a quarter of that at 12.9 FPS average in Ubuntu. And in Tomb Raider it was a bit better, averaging 154 FPS in Windows, down to just over half of that at 83.5 FPS average in Ubuntu, so yeah, not especially great. So to conclude, can Linux save the QuadSocket 64 core Opteron? Well, in some cases I'd say certainly an absolutely yes. We saw nearly 3x the score in Geekbench 5 and around plus 40% in Blender. However, in some cases we saw around the same score or even a small reduction like in Whitecruncher. However, in general, I'd say that Linux is certainly the best suited operating system for a system like this. And it's also just been very fascinating to see how it handles this hardware with the load balancing over all the different cores. Just been really interesting and I hope you've enjoyed it as well and if you did a like and subscribe would be very much appreciated. In any case, that was all for now and bye bye.